layer protects us from the harmful UV rays of the sun. The UV rays reaching the Earth's atmosphere from the sun are harmful for organisms on Earth and the ozone layer blocks these out. But due to certain harmful gases released into the atmosphere, this protective layer of the Earth is getting destroyed. We need to hurry and save our planet. Time is ticking away. Let us watch and know more about the ozone layer. Our objective is to learn about the significance of the ozone layer and damage caused to the ozone layer by CFCs and HCFCs. The Earth's atmosphere is divided into several regions. The lowest region is called the troposphere, which extends from the Earth's surface up to about 10 kilometers in altitude. The next layer is called the stratosphere that continues from 10 kilometers to about 50 kilometers. This is where most of the atmospheric ozone is concentrated. In the stratosphere, by the action of sunlight on oxygen, a small amount of ozone is constantly being synthesized. Now at the same time, ozone is being broken down by the natural processes. But the total amount of ozone usually remains constant because of its formation and destruction occur at the same rate. Ozone is a molecule containing three oxygen atoms. It is blue in color and has a strong odor and is poisonous. However, the ozone layer performs a very essential function. It absorbs a portion of the sun's radiation, thus preventing it from reaching the planet's surface. Most importantly, it absorbs the portion of the ultraviolet light called UVB. UVB has many harmful effects. Certain manufactured substances such as the chlorofluorocarbons and the hydrochlorofluorocarbons can destroy the stratospheric ozone much faster than it is formed. Once these chemicals reach the ozone layer, then due to the exposure to ultraviolet radiation, they are broken down and release atomic chlorine. Now, these are the real ozone killers. The chlorine atoms react with ozone to form oxygen and chlorine monoxide, resulting in the reduction of the ozone layer. Thus, use of CFCs and HCFCs need to be reduced to save the ozone layer. Let us summarize. Ozone is constantly synthesized in the stratosphere and destroyed by natural processes. Ozone layer absorbs the harmful ultraviolet B radiation. Chlorofluorocarbons and hydrochlorofluorocarbons can destroy ozone at a rate faster than it is formed. CFCs and HCFCs release atomic chlorine which reacts with ozone to form oxygen and chlorine monoxide. Ozone layer depletion is a threat that even the greatest supervillain ever would fear. You now need to spread the word and make sure that people reduce the use of CFCs and HCFCs. Stay tuned to watch more exciting videos. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.